team in the finals. Time for the finals. Um, we I chose to play last once more. Uh, Google Flash, Ever Shade, Nightshade, and Great Exchange. That perfectly, perfectly reasonable starting hand. Four lands, two of each. It's also close to perfect. I would have most likely preferred to have three and one to maximize my shade. Alright, we are off. And yeah, this, like, this is not going to be a mulligan. So it's a human deck. Not totally relevant, but almost. Let's see if it's got a 2 1. I can Google Flash. It's going to be a search like search. No, it's called the, the white. It's not a search like these, it's uh, something else. Nothing on turn 2. Well. I draw my uh, swamps to buff my shade and to play my marrow bat. So this is really looking good. Even if he's got a way to deal with uh, the first shade, he's got to deal with the second, and then we've got to deal with the marrow bats. Trusted force mage. He is on the larger side of the spectrum, especially when he's paired up to something. Inquisitor, uh, not too bad. Um, I'm, let's see. Uh, I'm playing the shade, offering to trade it. Uh, offering, yeah, I'm, I'm going to jump it once, I think. Taking 6 down to 11, playing no bats, blocking here, yeah, I'm taking 6. So got here. Yeah. Commander. Yeah, oh, that's the dude. Uh, so I'm playing the narrow bats. And I'm going to try and kill the trusted force mage. I have to do that now. Let's see if he's got yet another creature. Um, yeah, I'm going to chump with the other nightshade this time. Try to trade with the marrow bats. Because this will come back and I can play Great Exchange to get rid of another one. I'm not going to block the Moreland Inquisitor unless I can deal with the Trusted Force Mage. Seems like a bad idea. Sanctifier Buster's team. I'm guessing that it's no. Okay, I'm going to block the force mage here and chump something else. Uh, don't want to die, basically. He's got pumps on as well. He might have it. Not totally unlikely. Oh, yeah. I did want that trade, so I'm happy with it. Um, let's see, I will play under the executioner. Uh, I will kill the sacrifice. 
I need to <coughs> reduce this team as much as possible, even though it's a slight waste of the rule flush. We've got the Brave Exchange as well, so we could bring back either Shade or Executioner, depending on what dies here. And the Searchlight Geese, which will come in handy at some point. Um, next turn I can play it and use it. Second Commander, luckily enough, it only triggers off the one. Let's see if he attacks. No, no attacks. Okay. Um, so, searchlight east. <coughs> Leaving up four. Yeah, it should be enough here. I can. I don't mind uh, just jumping with my shade if need be. But it needs to be an attack for that to be necessary. Okay, so. Uh, ooh, second. I think we can use the first one now. I might have to jump his small and prison turn about that. Okay, he chose to let that go. That's good, because I can still kill his shiny one with my executioner. And that's only going to kill one of my two guys if I double block. The other one that is. Here's a ooh, gold like gold knight redeemer. Yeah, that's a big one. Still, I'm taking four of that. I'm taking yeah, that's fine. Um, I could play. Just with that. Let's see what he attacks with. If he attacks. So, do I simply trade with that or do I kill this guy for the skills? Uh, this is a hard one. Um, I want to kill something. So, taking five, I need something to be in my graveyard for my grave exchange. Um, would I rather that be the Shade or the Executioner? Quite easily, I'd like the Executioner to be in my graveyard. So, I'm going to block his Gold Knight, his uh, commander, kill it. Then I have both search light and shade for four. Yeah, I have both. So I'm blocking here. Killing the commander and making his second commander less of a problem. Uh, yeah. 
not doing anything just yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm going to sit on this. Go ahead and change. It's got so much more <coughs> potential. I do want a way to kill this. I, I need this as a way to kill that. If I draw another land, I can do uh, I can do both play the Great Exchange and have a slight mana, which could be which could prove crucial. Hmm. Limbaland Guide. Let's start with this creature. So Larger double five five. Um, yeah, at least have no good attacks though. That is not a good attack. I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to block that and that. I am going to. Touch. And I'm going to do this several times, as many as I need to, to force you to use a trick or in some other way. Get my guys. Yeah, that's fine. You no longer have a flyer. Um, let's see what I got. Another searchlight beast. Um, if I force him, one, four, five, nine. So, starting with this, I want my shade back, I think. One, two, three, four, five. And I got the searchlight beast to hold the fort for one turn. Next turn I can play both Shade and Marrow Bass using one Shade Light, so to speak, to kill his, or to stave him off for one turn, and then stop him dead in his tracks, hopefully, with a second. Or do I trade my marrow bats? I think I want my flyer around. New spirit. Uh, not entirely. Awful in this case. Unfortunately, I could double lock it, kill command. I think I have to do that. Uh, 
it's a bit larger than I prefer it to be. And I can't regenerate my lower backs. Okay, so I've got one creature, he's got one creature. He's got a big new spirit, which you can pump once, but not twice. So I can trade my shade for it. Hopefully. Yeah, he had double activations to dig, make his guy excessively large. Uh, 16, 16 years old. I need a creature. That uh, is a creature. Uh, it's not a creature that I like. But a creature nonetheless. Now we need another creature. Uh, it's getting really. Yeah, can't use it for both of those. Uh, so, new spirit, double gold knight commanders. Still not too aggressive. Um, Oh, we will deal with that thing. Um, uh, I could have used for the justiciar against him. Cutting one which is both for the justiciar. Then there is this other strike. Nah. Then the best issue to deal with something like new spirit seems like a good plan. And hopefully, I won't be as far back this game as I was last game. You're not playing first. Um, yeah, I'm keeping this. Three guys, two tricks, and two lions. Three lions, perfect. And okay, even better. So hopefully, I can have ten two, ten three, ten four creature. Plus the force mage, I'm not going to block that just yet. I, I'm hoping that he will block my creature on that. Mm, yeah, it's 
highly unlikely that he's not that, that he ha does not have another creature. Commander, yeah, that's fine. Those Hera. Um, let's see here. I can deal with one with my searchlight geese. I can even deal with both if I use righteous. No, I can deal with one with either searchlight geese or righteous bow. I should say. Bones being this can hopefully take care of the other. A couple of lands and this should go fine, considering that I got great exchange. Damage. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I can play a righteous blow after combat has been decided. Okay, I will try to kill that. That went well. Um, what's it got more? New spirit? No. Strange. Uh, Crypt Creeper will get at him. Um, then Undead Executioner. This is a better target for my bone splinters. Shenanigans. Even cops. The cops blow connoisseur is getting better by the minute. Okay, uh, blessings of nature. That means that I'm going to. I have to bone splinters him, his guy, uh, prematurely, unfortunately. Um, it will be Crypt Creeper that bites the dust to do that. Trader is another nice way to use under execution. He could have a cloud shift here, but that would not be the end of the world, since he'd be down to two cards in hand and only the gold knight commanding knight. And it looks like he's got it. Yeah, that's the cloud shift. That means that I'm going to play. I'm going to play the blood flow instead and sacrifice my executioner to kill this guy. Because I don't really, I don't want it in play just now. Yes, I want you to do this. Because if I, if I get another land I have my grave exchange. Oh, that's worthy of it. Uh, ooh. Well, uh, look at here. Um, I'm going to start winning the race, I think. Unless he's willing to start locking. I said he's only got two cards in hand. One, yeah. So he's he's going to try and, and erase here and 
that might be harder than he thinks, especially if I get just one more land so I can use grain exchange. And the fact that he's only reducing my life total with one point each turn. Score, that's fine. So, pre combat, I'm going to force him to make a choice. I hoped for. He got rid of his blocker, so that means that he does not have a combat trick. At, at least I hope that he does not have a combat trick. Yeah, so he couldn't win against the homicidal seclusion. Um, that deck that he's got is good, but I think that if I just draw some of my removals, I should win this game in the finals. I'm actually looking to this mental agony if that's going to be something that I can play. But my four drop is my four spot is so crammed already that I prefer not putting in if you want in there. Okay, final round I've got two drop, four drops and seclusion. And sacrifice outlets. So, not going to Mulligan. Three lands should be enough. Especially together with the Crypt Creeper. I am going to take a sneak peek at his hand with the Corpse Trader if I can get the chance to. I could even do it with my, my Shade if I had to. It's Undying is a very nice ability. And he chose to play last, so yeah. Uh, interesting to actually, actually face somebody else that wants the opponent to start. That's, it's been a long time since that happened. Mm, hopefully, this hand is enough. Pressure to deal to uh, deal with all his threats, forcing him to do forcing him to do the blocking. Uh, yes, I want to use this ability. So we've got life link already, and soon I got a corpse trader. Which hopefully will be bigger than most things but on his side. He chose to attack, so he's got something else. Uh, and it was something that he did not want to play before combat. Let's draw a little thing. Yeah, I'm going to switch my life in around. Because I want it to be on my course trader rather than the measly crypt creeper. Yes, I want to do that. Now he's got to uh, keep both back if, if he wants to trade with the trader. Got something else here, I'm presuming. I'm going to keep attacking with my guys just to. Okay, so you had another explorer. Um, yeah, I'm keeping. I'm keeping up the pressure. So. To 
do I get? Does he, does he double block? I hope, I think that he does. Yes. And I'm going to kill the explorer if I can. Yes. Narrow bats. Next up to be likely. Since I have my pilgrim and I have the Marabat, it's even I can even run out the seclusion and do other strange stuff like attack him with this near pilgrim because he will not want to kill it. It's almost like a seclusion and Marabat is a seven to life link flyer. I would be nesting like by blocking and regenerating. He does have four cards in hand, which uh, tops me. By by a couple, but this hand is quite hard for a green white aggressive deck to be. Yep, our phone came back to us after a few minutes of. Um, being away. So we've got our narrow bats, which will hopefully be the final nail in his coffin. The green, he does have some ways of dealing with it, but hopefully, yeah, blessings is the way to deal with it. Bad. Still, ah. Uh, he will not be dealing enough damage with only one six seven. Mostly because I would draw gaining life on and off. So do I start doing? Yeah, I think so. I'm playing this and attacking with both, and then it will be this choice whether or not to block. That's fine. You can do that. The question is if he's going to give it first strike. That's fine as well. Because as he kills my guy, my Marabat actually grows, grows even larger due to the homicidal seclusion. He needs to deal with this now. Yeah, that's sort of a way to deal with it. Uh, now he's got to deal with this guy instead. Actually, actually him, him netting free life as bit more annoying than I than I'd want to admit, but hopefully I can get both his guys with my next attack. He's going to have to block. And hopefully he does not have yet another creature. But he does. How I just blow. Um, yeah, that's actually fine. Well, no, because that would grow. Uh, so I'd have to attack with only this guy. Uh, 
let's see yeah because if it is blocked I could have I should have attacked with the Ebonite Shade forcing him to block with the Howl Geese only dealing with 2 damage ah stupid I was uh, a misplay. I should have dealt with the Howl Ghost. Okay. So is he going to attack with everything here? He is. So let's see. That first. That would be the blocking. And the pumping. And now I have to draw one of my removal spells. Ooh, flash deals with that, does not deal with that. Uh, that kills me. So, yeah. So I lost when I attacked with near his program because he did have a way to deal with my solution. Um, that was totally my my own fault. I should have kept my marrow back uh, with uh, life link. But not much to do about that. Well, that's the end of that. Was a price. Yeah, he says that he bought it in the uh, uh, natural land, and that's the way you should do it. So he he won because I got greedy, and he did have a nice deck, but I got too greedy. That's my own fault. <laughs>